Mm. It's, it's 5 a.m. It's time to go to Manhattan. It's Manhattan Hinge. Let's go. about 10 30 in the morning when we look up we see nothing but clouds we're going to get to our spot anyway and hope the conditions improve we found our spot looking at satellite views of the city 42nd street is a nice wide street to photograph the sunset and we want to get as east as possible because not only do we want the sunset the light reflecting off the buildings but people tend to walk out in the middle of the street to get their own photos and i really want to capture that in my image as well at 11 we get to the overpass and find one photographer beat us there, a very friendly gentleman by the name of Craig. He was there at 7 a.m. Even though the clouds started clearing at 12.30, it wasn't until 3 or so when others started setting up around us. We had our spot and then there was nothing more to do than wait and wait and wait. Boredom set in quickly and we started looking around for cool shots. Here are a few windows reflecting the sun. Let's see how far the zoom reaches. How about the Chrysler building? Uh, while we were shooting, pigeons were racing each other across the street and it was really annoying. Um, of course, my focus was on the horizon in this shot, but hey, let's see if we can catch a pigeon. There were people shooting up the street and at us. At one point, we yelled truck at one of these people standing in the street. It might have been this guy. Sorry, buddy. I think shooting your reflection waving in the bus windows is one step away from madness. Thankfully, once the sun dipped behind the buildings, the suspense grew. As it crept closer and closer to the opening, we could see the golden light intensify, and it was already starting to give us reflected light on the buildings. It wasn't long until people started crying the streets for their own shots. The police kept moving them to the sidewalk, but the effort seemed futile. Then disaster struck. About 30 minutes before the sun appeared again, clouds started rolling in quickly from the east. I quickly gathered my gear in case we were hit with rain and kept shooting. The light was changing by the second, and every second missed is a missed opportunity. When the sun broke the plane of the southern side bu uh, buildings, I realized we were in trouble. The thick and thin clouds were creating an interesting pattern, but they were just opaque enough to obscure the outline of the sun. I did what I could, constantly changing my shutter settings, uh, aperture settings, and kept going for the light changes. I set up a three-shot bracket and fired away at the instant it looked like the sun was in the middle of the road. And here it is. I'm happy with the shot even though the clouds didn't want to cooperate. It's a tone map three-shot composite. I wanted to allow the warm golden light to glow throughout the frame and still retain the blue sky that was interestingly opening up behind us. Once the sun was set, I shot a couple more shots. Some light trails. A little zooming effect and uh, the Chrysler building lit up. It was a disappointing night just because of the clouds but we had a lot of fun. We met a lot of great people and and had basically just an interesting adventure. While going through a few of my shots on the bus ride home I took uh, I took my fisheye out and did one more shot to end the night. I hope you enjoyed going on this adventure with us. The Manhattan Hinge happens twice a year. We might try again in July and see what happens. Have you ever witnessed the Manhattan Henge or any other city henges? Tell us about it in the comments. And think about subscribing. That way when we share a new adventure, you can come along with us.